So the Moog Spectrovox just came out a few days or a few weeks ago and it's actually just a vocoder slash filter bank and it's quite limited, right? So you have only 10 filters. You have one low pass filter, eight band pass filters and one high pass filter here. And you can't change these frequencies individually. They are fixed frequencies. Uh, but you can change globally all these frequencies at once here with the spectral shift knob, which is quite special. Um, and yeah, if you want to replicate this inside of Bitwig Studio, it's possible in terms of features, but it doesn't actually make any sense because you usually don't buy these devices because of the features. You buy it because of the sound and because it's a Moog synthesizer or Moog device. So it has a special sound to it, right? And this is something you can't replicate in software. And you also can't replicate, of course, these hardware buttons. Uh, you can't touch anything in software, right? Um, <clears throat> so it doesn't actually make any sense to replicate this in Bitwig Studio, but we want to do it anyway. And I tried to do this live on video, but it took too much time actually for a video because of the tweaking and so on. So I just give you basically the result, the preset, um, for download in the description. So you just head down and click the link and you can download it for free. Um, and I want to explain how it works basically. So this is here, we have two rows of filter banks actually. So the first analyzing filter bank, we have here cell and key filters, uh, six, uh, six P, uh, pretty steep. And we have a synthesizing filter bank here. So what we do is basically we feed in an audio signal here in the analyzing part, we split it up into multiple bands, and then we analyze each band what's going on in terms of amplitude here with these envelope followers. And then we use these values and change the output amplitudes of the synthesizing part here. And then we can basically feed in different audio signals to the synthesizing part and the analyzing part. And then we apply basically um, the spectral curve or the spectral um, amplitudes from one signal to the other signal. So that's the basic idea. We can also switch this here from a vocoder to a filter bank. So we uh, don't apply actually here the volume or amplitude changes from the analyzing part. Uh, and in the filter bank mode, we basically just change the volume here with these knobs, right? That's, that's basically all we do. Um, so it's just a filter bank. Um, so let's actually try this out here. So in this default mode, there's no vocoder activated here. We have just a filter bank and we use the internal oscillator here, oscillator carrier, which is just a bulls wave. We can trigger this here. Sounds like this. And we feed the signal through the synthesizing uh, filter bank here. And we can change some of the volume of these filters, right? We can tone down here some of the filters. So it sounds different now. Or we can change the spectral shift. So all the frequencies at once here. And I also put in here a sustain mode so you can switch this on like this. So we just hear the oscillator playing through these filters. So this is basically how it works. Then we can switch off your sustain. So we're back to triggering mode, something like this. And um, if you don't like to use the pulse wave here, you can switch it to saw, of course. Sounds like this. You can bring in your, all the filters again, uh, maybe the volume down and trigger it again. So we basically just filter um, this oscillator carrier here. So we can also exchange the oscillator carrier here for a real audio sound by just switching here to audio carrier. You can see we switch basically down to here and there we can select your different track in Bitwig Studio. Let's say here I use Microtronic, which is just an, uh, a beat playing.
So now you can't change here the frequencies. I mean, you can change the frequency of the oscillator, but it doesn't do anything because we use the Audi carrier here. Then we can apply a spectral shift. So that's the audio carrier instead of the oscillator carrier, this one here. Um, then we can use here this program input, which is basically, um, so yeah, you can use your voice. Maybe I use my microphone. I also prepared this a bit because I tested it, of course. Uh, microphone post. Um, then we have to use here the vocoder mode um, and we can use your program trigger the envelope generator so when i speak basically instead of triggering this here manually i use my audio input so the microphone basically to trigger basically here the output so now we can bring here all the uh, bandpass filters maybe we increase the loudness of my microphone here and the output a bit something like this and then we can change the um, let's say the frequency of the oscillator carrier here. We bring in some, um, let's say some hiss, which exchanges basically here the noise on top. We can change the noise for pink noise. Sounds like this. Bring this down, resonator up, spectral shift, and you can play around with this. We can also change here the analyzing the envelope follower uh, fall times to make it a bit more realistic sounds like this so it's more close to the source of sounds yeah i think it sounds okay-ish um so instead again of using this oscillator carrier you can switch back to the drum thing here so instead of using oscillator we use now uh, the audio signal from the drum machine it sounds like this and you can hear in the background basically a bit the let's say the beat playing maybe you can hear it yeah you can hear it a bit <laughs> sounds sounds weird but you can exchange this of course instead of using a beat you can use then i don't know a synth sound or um some chords uh playing or you can mix and match with beats as a carrier or as a program and as, as an audio carrier, some chords or chords as a program and as an audio carrier beats. So it, it changes basically how it sounds. So you can do basically everything with this. It's basically a, a, a very simple vocoder. So like I said, if you just want to use a nice vocoder, you can use the, the Bitwig one here uh, because it has instead of 10 bands we have here up to 80 bands um so it sounds much much better of course because the resolution is higher right so i just wanted to recreate basically a spectra box inside of bitwig studio um just for fun for the laws so you can um i don't know examine it, um dive into it and learn from it or whatever um i tried to build it on video but it took too much time it was over one hour or so so i just um yeah stopped recording and i just give you basically the result and some explanation how it works so uh the download link is in the description below have some fun let me know if you think there needs to be some some changes to it because i i think i probably forget some features um so yeah let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching and i see you next video